hey what's up guys david here from dignited today i want to show you how you can install visual studio code on your chromebook all right let's get into it so visual studio is a free integrated development environment or ide software it helps software developers create code more efficiently and productively vs code supports multiple programming languages including javascript python java c c++ c sharp php html css among others all right so before you get started just make sure that you've enabled linux on your chromebook you can install linux on any chromebook released in the last two to three years so I'm currently using a Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Go and to enable Linux on your Chromebook simply go to settings and then advanced and then come to developers and then enable Linux development environment so I already did a video on how you can install Linux on your Chromebooks I recommend that you watch that video before you proceed if you don't have Linux on your Chromebook all right next we are going to update a list of Linux packages you can also install an optional but strongly recommended GNOME keyring all right so GNOME keyring is a collection of components in GNOME that store secrets passwords keys and certificates all right so to do this simply run these commands sudo apt-get update to update update your list of Linux packages and then sudo apt-get install dash y gnome keyring. This is going to install the gnome keyring. All right, once you've done that, now you're ready to download and install Visual Studio Code. So simply visit code.visualstudio.com slash download. All right, on the download page here, you have Windows files and then files for Linux based systems and then also for Mac. So of course, uh, we have Linux on our Chromebook here and that's what we are going to choose. And with Linux, you have either Debian stroke Ubuntu based distros or Red Hat Fedora and SUSE, which use the .rpm extension. So for my case, I have the Penguin Linux container, which is based on Debian. So I'm going to download the .deb file extension. Now, the other thing that you also have to know is your Chromebook's uh, CPU architecture. So for Chromebooks that run on Intel or AMD chips, you'll have to use the 64-bit version of the file. Whereas if your Chromebook is running on an ARM-based chip, then you have to choose either the ARM or ARM64 for the 64-bit architecture. All right, so I'm going to download the .deb file 64-bit because I'm running on a Chromebook that is based on Intel and it's running on a Debian-based Linux distro. So if you don't know your CPU architecture, simply run this command dpkg dash dash print dash architecture. This is going to print out the architecture of your CPU. And as you can see, mine is showing AMD64. So because of that, I'm going to download the 64-bit .debian file. All right, so I already downloaded it and all you have to do is simply double click on it. Once you double click on it, a Linux installer is going to start and now the installation is in progress. As you can see here in the notification. All right, and it takes just a few minutes for our Visual Studio Code to install on our Linux container. And once it's done, simply start it and you can do that by either searching for the Visual Studio Code software on the launcher here so just uh, search for it but for my case I can already see it here so yeah so Visual Studio Code has started and you have a startup screen here which asks you to customize your home screen and choose your theme you can see uh, you can choose between dark light dark high contrast and light high contrast and you can do a couple of um, customizations there if you want to so yeah visual studio is pretty much downloaded on my chromebook and now i just want to play around with it i just want to just uh, install some dependencies that will enable me to develop javascript applications or node applications so we're going to do that to do that simply start the terminal here visual studio code comes with an inbuilt linux terminal now i'm going to run this command here to install uh, nvm which is a node version manager so nvm is going to enable us install node which is what we'll need to run a javascript applications on the terminal so just uh, run it you can see here right and then after that you can now install node just run nvm install node to install node on the system right so once node is installed now we can just uh, write a simple javascript hello world program 
And to do that, yeah, I'm just going to create a new file here and run a very, very simple program, which is just going to print out hello world to the console. So it's just right here. I'm just typing in some two lines of code and we're good to go. And after that, I'm just going to run node app.js to run the application. As you can see, it prints out hello world, which means that uh, all the dependencies that we need to run JavaScript applications are now installed on Visual Studio. If you want to develop Python applications, you can just do the same. You have to download and install uh, all the packages and plugins that you need to develop Python applications. You can uh, read more in the documentation to see what you need to install. All right, guys, that sums up how to run and install Visual Studio on your Chromebook. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and then ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one.